Hey guys, welcome back to the Simple Ground Homestead. I am here unboxing our brand new Champion Generator. We were going to go with the red, but we decided we would try this one out. It had really good reviews, half the price, a lot of the same features, and I, I figure that's pretty good. So this is a smaller inverter generator, um, 2000 max watts. <laughs> I'm here on the Spanish side. But the, Ameri or the English side has uh, a bunch of stickers on it. Anyway, it's supposed to be a really good generator. Lightweight. Uh, kind of has a cool shape. Let's see what's inside the box. Well, here's the 1030 oil that it said it came with. I'm supposed to change the oil after five hours of runtime. I hope there's enough for two oil changes, but I doubt it. Well, that right. comes with some tools for changing the oil and a 12 volt clamp. I'll be honest, I'm not impressed by this 12 volt clamping system. Those are cheapy, cheapy clamps. The plug's alright though, but these clamps are not so good. Well, here she is. I think that looks pretty good. There are a few reviews out there that said that it was, uh, you know, every once in a while you get a model that's not hooked up right, uh, not, not put together the right way. Uh, this one looks fine so far. Well, hey, look at that. It says here that if I uh, do a video review, I get a free t-shirt. <laughs> How ironic is it that I decided to do an unboxing video and inside the, the package, <laughs> they tell me I can get a free t-shirt. I think I might have to get this t-shirt just for the irony of it all. If you see this t-shirt in another video, maybe make a comment and uh, say you saw it in this video too. What about that, huh? <laughs> I always feel like I, I have to read the instructions, um, especially on a purchase like this. Uh, I'm going to be using this generator every day. For those of you that don't know, uh, we are currently living in a camp trailer while we build our yurt. We're building an off-the-grid home. And uh, this is going to help us out in the transition. We've been running on a little Harbor Freight generator and it's been doing a really good job but this is also going to help charge the batteries for our off-the-grid home until everything is established. It's got the right amount of umph to charge our off-the-grid batteries while we're f completing our system. That's what I'm trying to say. So this is our our first step for ever everyday use generator. Kind of excited. So I want to do it right. Well, it comes with a good manual. I'm actually going to take a look at it, but I'm not going to bore you while I read it. And uh, we'll see on the other side. All right, I've been through the manual. It looks like you'd normally see. Uh, the thing that uh, I was kind of expecting, but I got clarified, is that the 12 volt um, receptacle isn't regulated. But I kind of kind of expected that. Now I'm going to add the oil. So something that was also interesting is that they tell me to uh, 
the maintenance schedule on this thing is change the oil every 50 hours if you're using it under a heavy load for all of those 50 hours or every 100 hours if you're doing it under a light load see my family there's a good chance that we'll be running this thing for about 10 hours a day and that would mean that I'd be changing oil every 10 days that's that's a lot of oil changes <laughs> so that might be interesting for any of you who are watching this looks really cool in here it's nice and neat it's kind of funny the box reminds me of a computer tower <laughs> here here I have an engine in my little computer tower and here is where we change the oil and they didn't give me any ideas about how to dump that oil out. It almost looks like, <laughs> honestly, it looks like I just take that cap off and tip it sideways. That would be interesting, but it should be fine. Just make sure you have a towel to wipe it down every time you dump the oil out. Good to know. All sorts of good things to know. So it looks like it's had oil in there before, but none currently. It should be empty. Hmm. Further investigation here. Okay. Now there's oil on the dipstick, which makes me a little nervous about whether or not it truly is empty because I don't want to overfill it. My guess is that that is just leftover residual from when they tested it at the factory, which is a good thing, but I'm just double checking here. According to the instructions, I need to add oil. And yeah, nothing on the dipstick. So if you see oil on your dipstick, don't get nervous. All right, this is supposed to be exactly the right amount. Takes 0.4 liters every oil change. I'm not sure if I've said it before, but the idea is you add this oil, run it for five hours, and then change the oil. Let it break in. <laughs> Hope that doesn't mean that it's actually breaking. Well, that fits in really nicely. Wow, that is some clear oil. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Don't pour it too fast. Well, I have her all oiled. Put the panel back on. So this panel actually has a little bit of sound dampening foam. I wonder if that's part of how they get the low decibel rating. Now I noticed that uh, they brag of a fairly low decibel reading, 53 um, decibels at 50% running capacity if I remember it right, but um, they, they make sure you understand that that decibel reading was measured at 25 feet or 20 feet <laughs> so I imagine it'll be lo louder right next to the unit as it's running either way the sound of my voice right now should be close to 53 decibels that's quite quiet <laughs> so when it comes to carrying the thing it is possible to carry it one-handed but 40 pounds I think it's 44 45 pounds that's quite a bit of weight 
<laughs> but really, this is not bad. It's pretty nice to be able to carry the generator around with this top handle. And it seems like the idea is they built it so you can stack it. If you get another generator, you want to run them in parallel, you can take that second generator and stick it right on the top. I don't know if I understand that concept. Why don't you just spend another 200 bucks and get twice the generator? I know every situation's different. It might be nice to just take half the generator with you on certain excursions. I'll understand it when I get there. I'm not trying to knock anybody. Just not in complete understanding right now. All right, have it all fueled up. Let's see how it starts the first time. It's my problem. I had the gas switched off on the top too. Two spots. Let's see if that makes a difference. Here we go. Yeah. Wow, that's quiet. Well, there you have it. talk to you right here. Yeah. That's crazy. It sounds really funny when you go to start it too. Yeah. Alright, so I'm coming back to you after about 150 hours worth of use. It's been about 12, 13 days. So you can tell we uh, we use this thing pretty hard and it it's still running like a champ a few things that we've learned along the way uh, the owner's manual expects you to change the oil once every hundred hours in our situation that's a lot of oil changes and if somebody's mimicking our our situation it's probably good to know that there is a screen inside that screens out any particles that might be in your gasoline if you have dirty gas. That screen for us has fallen into the tank twice, three times, and it's really hard to fish out. Uh, I'm sure that's not a normal thing. Maybe it is a normal thing. It's not too bad of a thing to, you know, overall this works really well, so it's not so big of a thing that I, I'm put off by it 100%. I was reviewing the footage and I noticed that it's hard to tell with my camera microphone how quiet this thing really is. Um, and I should also show you the difference between um, the economy mode and normal running mode. Um, I'll fire it up and show you. Okay, so right now it's running on economy, and I put this, and that's off, off of economy. Just to give you an example there. I'll talk over it for just a minute, because I know you can hear me just fine. Um, we run it on economy most of the time, because... Uh, really we don't use much. We're using just a trickle of energy to charge our batteries and run our subsystems inside the camper. And when it's running on economy like this and charging stuff on our camper, we've actually run it 12 hours easily on the one tank of gas. It's not rated for that when you look in the instruction manual, but it easily runs for 12 hours on economy with not much of a draw on it at all. And another thing that I was curious about that I learned was while it's on economy mode you can ramp it right up to full use. Um, the, the system inside reads that you're drawing more power and it'll bump it right up 
it's not as responsive but I mean we've we've kicked on the microwave just to test it out and it jumps right up to power the microwave full power it's pretty nice overall I'm glad that I made this purchase uh, I could have chosen the Honda generator and I didn't and I, I have no regrets I, I feel like you know I haven't ever used a Honda so I can't say for sure but this has met my needs on quietness on length of running time on quality of power coming in um, and it was half the price so we're really happy with this purchase and we'll see what happens if it just happens to die in another hundred hours or so I'll let you know but I expect this to work for a good long time thanks for watching this video um, if you haven't already take a look around our channel check out our adventure we are working on building an off-the-grid yurt this is part of the whole system make sure you uh, you take a look at it it's going to be really cool if this was helpful for you in any way go ahead and give it that thumbs up so other people can find it a little easier and if you've had some experience with generators please share it in the comments below we would love to know more Amazon sells these uh, it's one of the distributors of champion generators if you want to buy one or if you're interested in looking at one uh, I'll leave a link in the description below just click down there and you'll see uh, it'll take you directly to this generator that I bought until next time thanks for taking this journey with me on simple ground